106 tobacco is a fumigatory plant of solanaceae family b statement says seed coat is thin and membranous in monocots so a statement is correct that tobacco is a fumigatory plant of solanaceae family so it is true what about the b that the seed coat is thin and membranous in monocots it is also true so both the statements a and b are correct so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 107 says fruits of which of the given plants have persistent calyx persistent calyx is seen in the family solanaceae so you have to find out the member of solanaceae mustard brassicaceae gloriosa liliaceae tulip liliaceae brindle Yes, it's a member of Solanaceae. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 108. Out of the following, which one is a fodder plant? Sesbania, Lupin, Mulati or Colticum. It is used in the doubling of the chromosomes. So, this option is ruled out. Mulati, it is medicinal plant. It is not the fodder plant. Lupin, ornamental plant. Sesbania is a fodder plant. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 109. In how many of the following plants, tendril is a modification of stem? Tendril can be a modified stem or it can be a modified leaf. In some plants, you will find that tendril is a modification of stem. Pumpkin here in pumpkin, tendril is a modification of stem. So, this is correct. Grape wine, tendril is a modification of stem. And the cucumber, again, it's a modification of stem. So, how many are there in which modification of stem is seen as tendril? There are three. So, what about the others? In pea, sweet pea and smilex, so, these names are ruled out. What about the Nepenthes? In Nepenthes, the pitcher is a modified leaf. So, this is also ruled out. What about the Belladonna and wheat? Belladonna and wheat do not have modified leaf. So, how many plants have modified stem as tendril? Three. So, the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 110. Which of the given features are similar in both potato and onion? Potato, it's a dicot. Onion, it's a monocot. Because onion belongs to the family Liliaceae, whereas potato belongs to the family Solanaceae. Leaf modify for storage of food. No, in potato, the root stores the food, whereas in onion, the fleshy leaves store the food. So, this is not the similarity. Exile placentation in the ovary. Yes, it is the similarity. Underground stem. Yes, it is the similarity. Actinomorphic flowers. Both have actinomorphic flowers. So, this is also similarity. Fibrous roots are seen in onion but not in the potato. So, this is not the similarity. So, similarities are B, C and D. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. 